Hello everybody or welcome to a new video and happy birthday to me! The day that you're watching this is actually my birthday and I am turning 25 years old. 25! How did that happen? I have absolutely no idea. I can't believe it. Um, but let's get started with today's video. So I thought for my 25th birthday it might be fun to share 25 facts about me. And this was actually a challenge, trying to come up with 25 things that are vaguely interesting. Um, and hopefully you will find them so, but I've written them all down on this piece of paper. I have had contributions from my parents, different people in my family, and just has allowed me to think back sort of across my 25 years. Um, and yeah, just pick bits out that I, that I loved, I've hated, just things that I've done. So I'm super excited to share them with you today. So we're going to start with fact number one. And because it's my birthday, it seems only right that I share a fact about my birthday. Um, so I was born on the 19th of April 1999 and actually I was born a month early. So I was teeny tiny when I was born, I was only four pounds eight ounces, so really really small a month early and my parents, probably not when I was a brand brand newborn, but they've got a picture of me sat next to a bear um, and if I can find it I'll post it in there. I know that we've got a printout of it um, but I think my mum put it on my Facebook for my birthday a fair few years ago now so I'll see if I can dig that up and if I can I'll put it in now. The next fact is that I actually lived in a hotel for six years. Yes, that's a really weird fact, but it is true. And actually what I use for my fact about me whenever you have those icebreaker conversations, but it is true. I lived in a hotel for six years with my family. Um, when I was one, my parents bought a hotel down in Cornwall. We moved in there, we lived upstairs and the guests had sort of the first floor and the ground floor. Um, my mum was the chef, my dad did the bar, he was a waiter, we all pitched in, it was a whole family affair. No, well, actually, I would say for me as well, my, my sisters made beds and did the cleaning and I was entertainment. That's right. Before the guests went into dinner in the evening, they would sit in the bar area and I don't know why, I was let loose and at times I had guests swimming on the carpet, they were playing schools, playing hairdressers, all sorts of crazy things that this little three-year-old was making them do and uh, they all went along with it and in fact one of the people that we one of the guests that we had even after we left the hotel she used to come for dinner so that was really fun really random but yeah lived in a hotel for six years next one is that i am the youngest of three i have two older sisters um and yeah that made it very interesting growing up they're both quite a bit older than me so i was the definite baby of the family but yeah youngest of three sisters Number four, <laughs> my first celebrity crush. Uh, this one, <laughs> I love it, I'm not even ashamed, Bradley James. Bradley James was or played Arthur in the BBC Merlin TV programme and oh my god, even if I still watch it today, I love him. I love Bradley James. I re distinctly remember in year seven we were in French class, we were asked to write about a celebrity and I chose James. So yep, yeah, he has my heart for Celebrity Crush. Five, I absolutely cannot stand the taste of papaya. I hate it. I like or I love pretty much all fruits. Papaya, oh, really, really hate papaya. I love mango. Papaya, no, not at all. Uh, number six, I went to my friend's house once for a sleepover and she had a trampoline outside and I actually Sorry if anybody is a little bit squeamish, but I actually tore my ear, the top of my ear. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but up here is not to the same shape as the, my ear on the other side. And that is because I ripped it on one of the clips that shuts up the little net on the trampoline. So yeah, tore my ear open. I went home sh pretty shortly after that, but oh, and I am still a little bit weird because of it. Um, number seven, I actually have a first class degree in human resource management. So I did my degree in Portsmouth at the University of Portsmouth. I did a four year degree. I did two years in Portsmouth and then I'll come on to the third year in a little bit. That's actually one of my other facts. Um, and then my final year, just to add as a bonus fact here, my entire last year of uni was during the COVID pandemic. So I did it entirely remotely. I did not go to university. I don't know if I was going. I'm going to ignore that. Um, I did not go to university physically in my final year until the day that I graduated. Uh, my favourite film, everybody really looks at me weird whenever I say this, but my favourite film is Battleship. Yes, that random film with Rihanna in it. 
battleship. Whenever I watch it, I don't know, I love it. It's just so, so amazing, so dramatic, so terrible, but it's just incredible. I love that moment. Spoiler for anybody that watches it, we're like ADC, ADC, DC, ADC, hopefully, uh, plays. I am clearly not a fan, but it just makes it so dramatic and so incredible. I love it when they get the battleship out and oh, I could go on for hours because it makes me happy. So Battleship is my favourite film. Number nine, I helped to set up and run a local COVID vaccine clinic. So during my final year of uni, whilst I was at home completing my final year, um, I was also working at a pharmacy. And as part of that pharmacy, we set up an external vaccine clinic. So I was there three days a week, pretty much 12 days, the 12 hours a day for months and months until I actually got my, my job and I moved away. So yeah, it was a very, very strange time. It was incredible to be a part of. I loved the people that I worked with and it was just really nice to be out helping different people in the, in the community. Number 10, how are we at 10 already? I love, love, love history. I am a total history nerd and in fact, it is the one thing I really, really miss about school. So I did history at GCSE. I then did classics at A-level and I miss it so much. But I'm super, super excited because when we film, when I'm day filming this, the day before, we actually booked to go to Rome. So I am super excited. I missed out on the opportunity to go as part of my classics course because it was a couple of weeks away from my A-levels and I just didn't want to risk it. Um, so it's been on my bucket list for years. I know all about the architecture. That was all part of my course. And so I cannot wait to go. Oh, I'm so excited. So that should be really fun. And I'm actually going to get my mum to dig out my history, my classics folder that has all of the information and I'm going to brush up on some of my uh, classics facts. So there you go. Number 11. <laughs> I have flown a plane and landed it at Kong, Hong Kong Airport. No, seriously, I have. Okay, it was in a flight simulator, but I've done it. I took off, I flew around and I landed it and they actually said that I did really well. So the company, one of the companies I used to work for um, built flight simulators and I got to have a go in one of them once and it was incredible. You literally completely forget that you are in a flight simulator. It's amazing. It moves, like it's utterly incredible. But yes, I have taken off, flown and landed a plane at Hong Kong airport. Number 12, I am growing an avocado tree currently. My mum brought up this teeny tiny plant uh, about probably a year ago. And it's fine, I thought it was dead and it's finally started getting leaves. I'm looking at it out the corner of my eye up here and it is beautiful and I actually was like, well, when's it gonna give me avocados? 10 years, 10 years it takes for an avocado tree to grow and to give you avocados. All I can say is I better have a garden by then because a tree in my living room is not really what I have planned. But if it gives me avocados, maybe I can get on board. Number 13. I actually won the physics prize at school. I hate maths. I cannot. I'm just not. I'm not terrible at it, but it takes a long time for it to make sense in my head. Once I've got it, I've got it. But anyway, I won the physics prize. I got the highest score in our school for GCSE physics and as a result I won the physics prize. There you go, random fact because I would never ever have guessed that in my wildest dreams. Uh, 14, I passed my driving test first time in my own car. So my dear car Felicity, I did my driving test in her, in her. My driving instructor actually got a DVT a couple of weeks before my driving test. So he couldn't even take me out for lessons. Um, so he had the blood clot in his leg. And yeah, so my parents drove me around. My dad took me to my driving test. And yeah, I passed first time. And fun fact, an additional one, uh, I am still driving Felicity. However many years later it is, I don't want to do the maths because it's going to make me sad, but I am still driving dear old Felicity around and uh, we are a very good team. 15. So I am five foot three and I clearly growing up I was shorter and at school I was in the netball team. In fact I was in the netball team at school and for my local club and I was a shooter. I was a really tiny shooter, as you can tell, five foot three, not necessarily what you would normally pick. Um, but I actually taught myself to get more distance from me and the defender and I learned to shoot on one leg. And 
I managed to stay shooter. So I love it. I'm trying to try and join a netball team here at the moment. Um, oh, I'll tell you a little secret. Uh, one of the reasons that I wanted to be shooter is because it involved less running. I was a go shoot, so I stayed in the one of the thirds and didn't have to go out of it. Uh, you can tell my hatred of running is, has run deep for many years, um, but I'm hoping to join a netball team up here and I won't be able to play shooter anymore, so I'll have to do more running. Oh well, it, it is what it is, I guess. I'm 16. By far, the worst thing about being an adult is washing up. I hate it. The minute you've done it, you then go and eat something and you have more washing up to do. Maybe it's okay if you have a dishwasher. I don't, and as a single person in the house, I think it would be a waste, but I hate washing up. Absolutely hate it, and it makes my back ache. So, not a fan, hate washing up. Number 17, I used to take 999 calls for the ambulance service. So, when I, after I graduated, after I left the vaccine clinic, I moved up to Crawley where I joined the Southeast Coast Ambulance Service, and for a couple of months, I took, learned to take and took 999 calls, which was incredibly interesting so hard so draining but something i wouldn't change for the world and i'm so glad of what it taught me and for having the experience and a link to that one fact number 18 i think yep here we are i actually very early one morning while i was working for the ambulance service i took a call and helped to deliver a healthy baby girl. She was called Evelyn and it was incredible. I, it's one of the, the sort of my treasured moments from my time working there. And yeah, I delivered a baby over the phone. I don't think very many people can say that. So it's one thing, one of the facts that I uh, think is true to me. It's special to me anyway. Number 19, I cannot stand the taste of dill. I hate it. If it is anywhere on my dinner, or anywhere on a lunch, food, whatever, I will not eat it. I, oh, I hate the taste of it. It's disgusting. Number 20 is one that my mum provided and she wanted to, or well, one of the facts to put in is that I'm very good at doing her gel nails. <laughs> so thank you very much, mum. I am glad that you love it. And I love doing your gel nails too. Number 21, as I mentioned earlier, during my time at university, I, did a four-year course and in my third year I was actually something called a HR consulting intern working at the Hilton corporate office in Watford so I loved my time there I did nine months of my 12-month placement and then unfortunately it was cut short due to Covid and I was furloughed but I completely cherished my time there it was incredible I worked with amazing people and learned so much so I'm really really glad that I did that when I started at uni my first year I'd actually only signed up for a three-year course with the option of adding a placement year and as you well it's obvious I added a placement year and I'm so glad that I did. Number 22 this is a random one and it might start off sounding like it's one of my, one of my dad's facts but my dad used to drive something called a Brisker F2 stock car um, and it's little oval circuits and that we used to travel to each weekend and it was a lot of fun I wasn't very old I was sort of year five year six year seven um, and how it becomes a fact about me is that at the start of each um, race day, they would do a little parade around the oval circuit, the drivers on the back of the car. And I actually got to go every time with my dad on the back of that car um, and did the driver's parade. So hopefully again, I've got a picture of that. I'll try and dig one up from somewhere. So yeah, little me, my dad on the back of the stock car going around the track. And actually my sister used to drive the stock car um, while we went around. So that was a lot of fun and also a memory that I really, really cherish. 23. I love strawberry laces. Anything, and you can call me crazy, but anything that is artificial strawberry flavoured, I absolutely love. Strawberry laces, strawberry pencils filled with the frosting, like anything artificial strawberry flavoured, I will eat it and I will just eat and eat and eat. Actually, for one Christmas a couple of years ago, I put on my wish list a box of 100 strawberry pencils and I got it and it was gone within, well, before the end of January. So. I love strawberry. I love strawberry flavoured sweets. Number 24. Uh, this is maybe a little bit dull to be the 24th fact, but I love cooking. I absolutely love it. And if you've watched many of my videos, you can probably tell that I love cooking because I do a lot of it. Um, I love scrolling through Pinterest and finding new recipes. I love making food for people. I love 
eating lots of different types of food and yeah there is just so much joy that can come from cooking come from food and I love it one of my favorite things to do when I go home and see my mum is actually to just be in the kitchen cooking alongside her whether I'm peeling potatoes or cutting up veg whatever it is I love that time that I spend in the kitchen cooking different meals with her and then 25 I think this is one that is probably quite unique to me which is why I thought I would end on it but if you went through my Spotify playlist and played me any song, I could probably tell you what TV programme I was watching at the time that I saved that song to my playlist. It's very weird, I know, but it is true. I actually, last time I was driving home, when I was driving home for Easter, I put my playlist on and sort of did a challenge to myself. And this is where I sort of realised it. I've known it before, but whenever I watch a TV programme, I tend to get a tad like obsessed with it and I'll watch it until I sort of move on to the next thing. I watch all the YouTube videos that like sort of fan videos, etc. And from a lot of those comes songs. Um, so as I go through my plays, you can like I can pick out if it's One Tree Hill, if it's Chicago Fire, if it's Bones, if it's Prodigal Son. I can tell you what TV program I was watching when I saved that to my playlist. So totally random, but I love that. I think it's really weird, but it's me. So there you go. That is twenty five facts about me for my 25th birthday. I hope you have enjoyed watching. I am planning to um, record on my birthday. I am going to get a haircut and I cannot wait. I'm so excited to get my hair done. My parents are coming, we're going out for dinner and generally looking forward to having a quiet day, not at work. So I hope you have enjoyed watching. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button, comment down below and subscribe if you'd like to, because I would love to have you here. And I will see you guys in my next video when I'll be 25.